everyone. My name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and part of the infant development team here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. And I'm here today to talk to you about three different ways to use a boppy pillow. A boppy pillow is a very common item on a lot of people's baby registries. And while it can be very beneficial to support bottle and breastfeeding, there are actually ways that you can use your boppy pillow to support gross motor development. So today we are gonna go over three of those ways to support your infant's achievement of gross motor milestones. The first position we are gonna look at today is actually tummy time on the boppy. Between birth and three months of age, your infant actually has a preference for a flexion posture, which means that their legs are bent and pulled in towards their tummy and their arms are together at midline. Sometimes this flexion posturing can make tummy time on the ground really difficult, and that is where our boppy comes in. So what we're gonna work on in supported tummy time on the boppy is first on the arm position. So we are gonna put our infant with their arms on top of the boppy. And when we're looking at that, we're looking for the arms to be below the shoulder bent, so that they're weight bearing on the bottom of their bent arms. Once they are in this position, we can look at their hips. So we're looking again, if they're still in that flexion, the hips would be flexed right here. And this position can be really great for infants who have issues with digestion or reflex because it's gonna take the pressure off of the stomach while they're in this position. This can be a great position to work on a toy like a mirror with. Um, you can set it up, infant will be able to see themselves. They can also see you. You can also work on toys that have a light or music so that your infant can practice tracking different directions. You can also have a toy and work on visual tracking to both sides. So you can go over here in that way and that will work on both the development of the visual system and the mobility of their neck. So this can be a great initial position for tummy time. While tummy time is super important, another really important position is actually sideline. So for sideline, what we're gonna do with the boppy is we are gonna have the infant laying on their side and the boppy pillow is more just to support them staying in this position. So sideline is really great for working on midline control or bringing the hands together. You can place a toy in front that infants can engage with or something that they can work with with both hands. Another thing about sideline is it is a precursor for rolling. So once your infant hasn't been in the sideline position, maybe they're done with that position for right now, you can actually take the boppy pillow out and see what, which direction they are um, more interested in rolling to. And you can actually roll them out of the sideline and practice one of those mini milestones. The important thing to remember with sideline is that you wanna be doing it to both sides. So if one time they're laying on their left-hand side, the next time you do it, you'll do it on the right-hand side. And that's just to work on symmetry of movement um, to help with the achievement of those gross motor milestones. And finally, the last position we are gonna talk about is actually quadruped, which is a fancy word for weight bearing on all four extremities. So when we're talking about quadruped, we're looking for infants to have equal weight bearing on both their arms and their legs and to have their um, trunk straight in the middle. So we are looking for this position. The boppy helps prevent the infant from sitting back on their legs because oftentimes their arms can't reach forward or going all the way forward. Um, and most of the time, that's when they start to lose their balance. So the boppy in the middle provides the ability to keep equal weight bearing on both sides. It also gives the infants a little bit of stability if this is a new position for them, as they're often able to feel the boppy below them. And as they get tired, they can just lower themselves down. So for this position, it is very similarly to how you set up tummy time for the infant except this time they're gonna be farther forward so that their arms can touch the ground. By this um, point, your infant's arms will have grown, so they will be able to reach the ground. And then again, you're looking for that flexed hip position in the back. This can be great to start to work on reaching as well. 
So similarly to other positions, you can work on stable toys, but you can also work on the infant reaching to engage with the toy or reaching up to get a toy. Reaching is going to work on a weight bearing on one arm while they're reaching with the other. And that weight shift is really important for crawling. Thank you so much for watching today. Hopefully this video gave you a couple different ways to use your boppy pillow. If you have any questions concerning your infant's development or need any help, please reach out and we'd be more than happy to answer them. Thanks so much.